believe our, our temperaments would clash. Uh, the personalities that we have. Uh, I'm not a big fan of, of drunkenness in public. <clears throat> or okay. I believe I believe you're actually beautiful. Thank you. That's my favorite Glorilla. That to me. That's why Glorilla is crazy. I think Glorilla is beautiful. I'm dark skin. I think more like Kelly Rowland, but I appreciate the comment. Woo! That's, that's my- <laughs> Stop the cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> Yo. First off, Glorilla not ugly. Secondly, you not ugly neither, but you ain't no Kelly Rowland. On his will. Gracias. But okay. no, is he someone that's your type? No, he's not my type. Okay, why you not? Know, I I just don't think I would like to be out on a nice dinner date or skydiving with somebody that ha- wears pearls. I'm not drunk at all. A little tipsy. You know, they gave me some drinks in the back, but I feel like I'm really put together. I feel like I'm carrying carrying myself classy. That's but if that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. I don't like the pants. I'm going to be honest. I think that since you're light skin, you should have wore something a little bit more light skin. Olive. I like how they did that. She accused them of being light skin, and then they panned to an actual light skin. My first thing is, your dress is too tight and making you look like you constipated. You know when you need to pee or <laughs> you need the boo-boo and you got that stance? You don't want to move too fast. You don't want to move too slow because you don't want no accidents. That's how she's standing. He was right. As soon as you saw rejection in the rear view, your attitude start to flare up. I don't like the pants. You could have wore this since you're light skin. Like, you just started pulling bullshit out your ass. <laughs> Pause. How you discover that you got this talent? As a grown ass man, how you discover that you got the bottomless throat? If you ain't already on the other side of the street, you standing at the crosswalk. Because there is no way, no, nah, that, no, I don't, I don't care. It's some rainbow activities going on, bro. There's no way. Why you got my speaker in your hand? Who's speaker is it? Who's speaker? Last chance. Who's speaker? It's my speaker. They're not just saying it's my speaker. It's my speaker. You don't got to see my ID. Give me my speaker. Your speaker, your speaker. Who's speaker? Yo, bro, you keep asking the same question. Tell you what. Since I can't Yeah, and then we turned it off when you said that, right? I'm break it down for you. Since I can't figure out whose speaker it is, and if everybody... It's my speaker. I'll pick it up for the sixth person. It's that simple. Yo, why he so tough? You know what? I ain't finna judge a book by its cover. When we were younger, we used to complain about the cops in New York. We used to complain about the stop and frisk. You know, the jump out boys. They used to jump out in them fake ass baseball and and football jerseys. But as of late, I've been seeing these videos where they literally moving like a gang. NYPD is literally moving around like a street gang. Uh. Wait, what the f- It broke my teeth. <laughs> Bro. Well, I'm just hanging on by one little implant, swirling around in there. <sighs> My mind is in the gutter, and I don't think it should be. Because I'm trying to think of the possibilities of her moving. Her bottom row to the side. Maybe I'm reaching. I'm I'm reaching. That is crazy though. I don't see how that is possible. She said she broke her tooth, but for all of this to be moving, that means like a part of her gum had to have been broken too. That means a part of her gum had to have went too, right? And it's only holding on by like. Mm. Let me tell you guys the requirements for a man to date. First, you have to make at least like $45,000 a year because I like nice things and I like to go out to nice places. My favorite restaurant is the Cheesecake Factory, Chili's, or Taco Bell. And you must have a car, especially Toyota, Nissan, Honda. My favorite one is the Toyota Prius. If you think you qualify, DM me. She trolling. It sounds too good to be true. She trolling. There's no way. 45K, you can you could do something with 45K. But I, my advice to you is if you're making 45K right now, strive to make more. Because in this economy, 
45 k ain't gonna take you too far. Then she said a Prius. That's how I know she trolling. When you guys see me in real life, you have got to stop asking me who did my BBL. It puts me in such an uncomfortable position when, you know, because I'm a girl's girl. I would never gatekeep. But I, it breaks my heart to have to tell some of you guys that it's, like, natural. And, like, of course I would share my doctor with you if I could. I mean, like, when you guys see me in... I plead the fifth. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell also. That way you can see exactly when I upload. Alright? Let's get right. <laughs> Before I give a response, what happened? Uh, Grandpa just want to know if you can make a hot dog. That's fine. If you're going to come downstairs while I'm recording, put a shirt on, sir. I keep telling you this. Okay? S sir? Did you hear me? Mm -hmm. Oh, ha, 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 ha. No, we're not doing that. Did you hear me? Yes. Yes, who? Yes, I heard it. All right, go ahead. Man, running around here with his biscuit chest. I don't understand a word what she's saying, but I can tell you what's going on. And the reason I can tell you what's going on is because when my wife was um, in graduate school, she went to UGA, her and her classmates went to China. What? You scared the hell out of me, Dad. What's going on? No, no, no. You want, you want to do a recording? Yeah. You come say hi. You might no, as well. No, no, no. Come say hi. I can't do that. Why? Come say hi. You got the swag. Come on. Come say swag. You got the swag. Go ahead and say hi. You just got to bend down a little bit so they can see you, Dad. Just so say hi. See me. Yeah, look. There you go. What's that? Oh, y'all seen y'all seen the shoulders? <laughs> y'all seen the shoulders? Wait a minute. Okay. Hello, fellow YouTubers. What do I do? That is something right, does it? It's okay. <laughs> it's alright. Alright, edit that out. No. When you finish, I'm I got to talk. It's something I want to do. I see the what, what, He just came down and asked me. Um, they give me one hot dog. I don't, I don't know how to do it. You don't know how to make the hot dog? I don't know what you're doing. You're talking about in the grill? I don't know how you're doing. How you how you in, in the, the grill. grill? Yeah. That grill, that the um the electric grill. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You want to do it outside or you want to do it in the kitchen? I put it in the kitchen. Yeah, that's fine. Just put it on top of the... Seasoning? I don't know. You do like well, season hot dogs. You season hot dogs? I don't know. What I used to do, I put in a pot and put some. Uh, oh, you used to boil it. I put the boil or put in a thing with yeah. onion and stuff on it. No, we don't boil. We don't. It, just put it in there. Just put it on the on the grill and it's gonna it's gonna cook it. Man said he. <laughs> you def we sure did used to boil that. I remember that growing up. Yeah. That's crazy. All right, like I was saying. I apologize. I apologize. I'm, I'm pretty popular right now. So, when Danae went to China with her classmates, it was only two of them that were black. I forgot the other girl's name, but it was Danae, but they were the only two black girls that were in the class. Everybody else was either white or Asian. When they were walking around China, I don't know what part of China they were in, but that particular part of China never seen black women before. So, while they were walking around, the men were just following them around. The women would just randomly just touch their hair. Men would do that too. And then she was explaining how certain instances, it went from being, you know, they were admiring them to it just being plain out creepy. Like it felt like they were going to get kidnapped. And I think that's pretty much what we seen right there. I wish she was here. I would have her like tell y'all the story better. Probably in a later video, I could have her tell y'all the story about when she went to China. Do you think side chicks make marriages last? Of course they do. What do they specially do? 
We're going to use Lagos as a case study. And then from my own personal experience, you and your husband, you live in VGC. And I live where I live. Chevron, Ekota Villa. Now, he's been on that traffic from VA, wherever his office is. Burn. If he's driving, even worse. He has a driver. Hallelujah. He's, a, he's not stressing so much. He drives and gets to Chevron and gets to me. And I'm by the door to open the door for him. He comes inside. I hug him. I give him a peg. Depends on how he made me feel the previous day. So he comes inside and I, I'm asking him, Hey, baby, how are you? How was work? Did your day go okay? While I'm doing that, I'm taking off his shoes. You know, like he's seated. I'm taking off his shoes. Hmm. If he's wearing socks, obviously, I'm taking it off. And then giving him a little foot massage while pep talking to him about how his day went. And I'm attentive to listen to him vent about what happened in the office and what didn't happen. And after that, and you know, in all of these conversations, I probably would have moved from his legs. And I'm sitting on him. This the wife won't do at home in most cases, but she doesn't have time. Me, I have the whole day. I have the whole time in the world because that is how he sees me every time he comes. So he's used to that pamper that he probably doesn't get at home. So I'm sitting on his laps. He's grabbing my buff. Or do you think side cheeks? My buff, buff. Um, who? <laughs> Do you think side chicks save marriages? Can I put y'all on to something? When I first got married, I used to work with an old head. The old head been married damn near 30 years. Mans was a dog. When I say mans was a dog, mans was a dog. He was running through everything. He had all these stories about going to the strip club and waiting for them after work and doing the grown folks. And I'm like, damn, bro, ain't you married? Then he got to saying that little activities that he been doing is keeping his marriage stronger. Then one time it was a group conversation with another married guy. And he was explaining how over the years he had side chicks. And man said, sometime, bro, you need a side chick. I'm not agreeing with these folks. I'm not agreeing with these folks. But I've heard this a lot. And the dudes I'm hearing this from is dudes that's been married over 20, 30 years. These is old heads. The closest I've come to actually implementing this is when me and me and my wife was getting back together after like our little split up. I want y'all to think about the psychology about this, right? There's nothing like the treatment you get from a woman who's trying to take you away from your girl. I can see where the whole misconception that your side chick treats you better than your wife because your side chick is trying to take you away from your wife. She's trying to take you away from your main shorty. And on top of that too, she's not used to you. Because best believe, we can complain about our wives. We can complain about our girls. Because, you know, they're used to us. They're comfortable. But I'm pretty sure we comfortable too. So there's certain treatments that our girl, our wives would want that we don't do. Because, you know, we feel as though we passed that stage. And guess what? If she gets some side penis... He's going to be Mr. Perfect. Bro, there is nothing like the treatment you get from a woman that's trying to take you away from your main girl. But I want you to also understand this. How you get them is how you lose them. If a chick is bold enough to be dealing with you, when she knows that you're in a relationship and dealing with somebody else, in the long run, that's not somebody you should get in a relationship with. If I was single, I would try this experiment. Tell women that I'm in a relationship and I'll always have them feeling like they the side chick. I want to see how long I can keep that going. Now, of course, most women aren't going to deal with you when you tell them you have a girl. But if she is willing to look over that little hump, play on, player. Of course, in the long run, it's not good for you. But for the moment, she's going to treat you like Prince Hakeem.